Hi, I'm Richard Moore, partnering with the Payne Auto Group to bring you the Outdoor Report. More than 100 brown pelicans have now been struck and killed by motorists on State Highway 48 between Brownsville and Port Isabel this winter, as during the most recent cold front, 23 more were slaughtered. These latest fatalities were gathered to illustrate the horrific extent of the ongoing tragedy. Once again, the majority of deaths occur at dusk along the game and channel, as the low-flying pelicans struggle against the strong north wind while attempting to reach their roosting site in the Bahia Grande unit of Laguna Atascosa National Wildlife Refuge. Many of the pelicans crash into the concrete barrier separating the four lanes of traffic. It appears that the solid four-foot-high wall atop the berm contributes to deadly turbulence forcing the birds downward. The death toll would have been much higher if several volunteers had not slowed traffic and rescued pelicans that were on the road. It would be really great if eventually we could get the speed limit lowered, if it's only even during these cold fronts with the strong winds, just 20 miles an hour or less, if we could get to 55 miles an hour, I think that could make a big difference. It'd be a lot easier for people to slow down at that point for a pelican in the road than when they're going 75 miles an hour. Sadly, this is an ongoing tragedy that has been occurring for at least the past five years, following the restoration of the Bahia Grande wetland with untold numbers of pelicans being killed. The current speed limit of 75 miles per hour is a danger not only to pelicans, but fishermen and motorists as well. However, despite numerous requests from the public and government agencies, the Texas Department of Transportation has failed to lower the speed limit. There at the intersection of State Road 48 and Bahia Grande, the wetland, I'm definitely pushing for a lower speed limit, and TxDOT is listening to that, but. According to TxDOT, it is difficult to change the speed limits on highways in Texas. With your Outdoor Report, I'm Richard Moore.